Hi there. Now for this part of the question then, you had to find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on P by Q in the collision. And you can see the answer is 15 mu over 2. Now, as usual, if there was a problem, I'll take you slowly through this work solution. When it comes to working out impulse, make sure you draw a diagram. A diagram, say, something like this. Now, you can either consider P or you can consider Q. Remember, in the previous part, by the way, the mass of Q was Km and we found that K was 5, so I've updated this as 5M. When it comes to working out that impulse, that impulse is going to be equal but opposite on both P and Q. So the impulse arrows would be inserted, something like this, okay? Now you can consider either P or Q. But impulse is equal to the change in momentum. You should be familiar with this. Now, if we work with, say, P or Q, we've got to set up a positive sense. And it's always a good idea to always set up your positive sense in the direction of the impulse. So it would be something like this, OK? If we're considering P, then we'd have the plus direction to the left because I goes to the left. And if it's Q, we'd take to the right as positive. Now, remember that impulse equals change in momentum then. So if we're dealing with P, OK, we'll set that impulse as being I, OK? And that's going to equal the change in momentum. So it's the final momentum minus the initial momentum. So momentum then is the mass, which will be m, times the final velocity. So afterwards, we were told that it went with a speed of 5u over 2, and it goes in the left in the positive sense. So its velocity is going to be positive 5u over 2. And then we need to subtract the momentum before. So the mass is m, but when it comes to the velocity here, notice that the speed 5u is to the right in the opposite sense to what we've got here. So its velocity will be minus 5u. So when you work this out, you find that you've got 5u over 2 plus another 5u. Uh, I should have mentioned the m there as well, which gives us a total then of 15mu over 2. Now you might have worked out the impulse by considering q. So what you do then is you take your positive sense to the right, so you've got i, okay, as being in the positive sense equals the change in momentum. But this time then you've got a new mass, 5m, times the final velocity. That's going to be u over 2. It's in the positive sense, so we've got u over 2 there. And then we subtract from this the momentum before. So it's its mass, 5m, times the velocity. Speed is u going to the left in the opposite sense to this, so the velocity would be negative u. So here you've got 5mu plus another 5mu over 2, and that gives me exactly the same result as I had before, which you would expect, okay? So it doesn't matter which one of these particles then you work with. So that's our magnitude of the impulse, 15mu over 2, a very standard type of question.